My eyes! My eyes! What? Can you hear me, Mr. Kirby? Yes, Jim. Mr. Kirby, please! Don't let that engine get me! Mr. Allison, a horse is a mule that's lost its sweet nature. <laughs> What's an officer, Mr. Allison? An officer is three words on a stick. Close it up. You see what I mean? Quiet it down. This is still a patrol till we reach the fort. Him out through your glass? It looks like a trooper, sir. Rest your men, Sergeant. Dismount! The way that soldier's right, you'd think all Grey Cloud's braves was chasing him. <laughs> it's Grady. It's more than likely one of his squaws. It's Trooper Grady, sir, from the fort. You think I'm sure I don't know, Sergeant. But I don't suppose Fort Kirk is inquiring into the health of the 40-hour patrol. Please let everything be all right. All I ask is that everything is all right. <laughs> sure, you not to be first soldier to have baby. <laughs> oh, that's what you think. Tonight, you kiss wife, kiss baby, drink much, fall down. Everything gonna be all right. You'll be good by the Perkins, yeah. Message for Major Lane, sir. Thank you, Grady. Everything well at the fort? Quiet as Washington Barracks, sir. Grady! Grady! Did you hear? What about Emily? Emily? Perkins' wife! The baby! Oh, yeah, and I did hear something about that. What? Oh, 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 Grady, please! Seven and a half pound boy, and Emily's fine. Oh, Grady, good luck to have baby boy. Good luck to have a boy. But you ain't gonna see him. Not yet. Oh, why not? Well, because I was occupying myself last night with Bonnie McNeil, uh, daughter of Ian McNeil, the Major's orderly. And she says this patrol's just gonna turn around, ride to the trading post, and wait a spell. Oh, oh no, no, I can go back tonight. Let some of those other gold-brickin' soldiers settle down. Any of you dog soldiers got any plans for tonight, you better forget them. We're taking our soldier ride in the sun. Look, we're doing off patrol today. Ain't there no other army but us? Now, we ought to be proud. Lieutenant Billings gets all the good jobs. We're his glory, boys. Now, tell you something, Tolson. One way to judge an officer, how many fights you've been in and whether you're still alive. You're still living. Mount up. Whenever you're ready, Lieutenant. Are you sure it's all right with my glory, boys? Oh, by the way, Corporal, I almost forgot. Barney sends you her love. Last night she gave it to me, now I'm passing it on to you. <laughs> I thought if you don't need me, sir, maybe I could ride on back to the fort today. I have no authority to allow that. Just this once? There's no such thing as just this once, trooper. This is a patrol that has to stay intact. But if it'll make you feel any better, this march is one you can tell your son about when he grows up. And here's a paper. 
A treaty that Grey Cloud and all his chiefs are waiting for. That gives him what he wants for peace, what we want. Commissioner Kirby's been holding him down till the treaty came from Washington. Now he's going to pick it up at the trading post, deliver it to Grey Cloud. Pretty soon after that, there won't be any more patrols. You can spend a lot of time with your boy then. Yes, sir. I'll be thinking of you staying, please, when I'm drinking my beer tonight. All in, trooper. You're assigned to this patrol. Who, <laughs> oh, me? Please. Get on your horse, Now, <laughs> <Mount> up. <laughs> All right, soldier. Detail! Ho! Chanowski, picket the horses under the trees. Yes, sir. Grady, Allison, make camp near the well. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Corporal Hamilton, bring the record up to date on your charts. Yes, sir. Olson, Clancy, Martin, unload the pack animals. Yes, sir. Sergeant, dismiss your men. Detail! Dismiss! Howdy. Nice sight seeing all you people come at once. Ain't seen nothing like that here in a month. What about Commissioner Kirby? Oh, him and his ass was here last month. What can I do for you, gentlemen? We'll need some supplies for the night. Give him a list, Sergeant. You say you haven't heard from Kirby for a month? No, but I hear Grey Cloud and his chiefs are talking war again. What about it, Lieutenant? There'll be peace if Grey Cloud gets his treaty by the 24th. Hmm, this is what day of the month? Second or third? It's the 15th. <laughs> kind of, you know, lose track here. Only thing that breaks up time so you recognize it is the wars. You say it's the 15th. Say, if Grey Cloud don't get his treaty in nine days, they'll be fighting again. We'll get it all right. Lieutenant. That Indian, maybe if we gave him some tobacco, he'd help us make camp. That buck doesn't work for tobacco, Sergeant. He's Taslik, Grey Cloud's son. Taslik, these men are asking after a friend of your father's. Commissioner Kirby, have you seen him? It is many days since he went to my people. We have an important paper for your father. Grey Cloud has been waiting. How many days ride from here to Grey Cloud's village? Six days. There's not too much time left to deliver the treaty. If Kirby isn't here by morning, we'll ride out to meet him. Figure supplies for a few more days. Yes, sir. Taslik. If we ride towards your father's village, we'll ask your help. I will show you the trail. He's an independent cuss, ain't he? He's an Indian. Someday a chief. Bye. 
Bonnie, my sweet Bonnie-o. find it in the army. When the time comes, you just take it. I don't suppose Kirby will be getting in tonight, sir. Go right in the morning, then. I'll tell the men. Good morning soon enough. Is the lieutenant's wife coming back soon? No, Sergeant. The lieutenant's wife is not. She would like the lieutenant to join her in the east. Transfer. I haven't asked yet. It would seem this is no life for a woman. There's plenty of them back at the fort, sir. Not like this one, it seems. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. So am I. Something to sleep on, isn't it? Good night, Sergeant. Good night, sir. War talk is going on in your father's village. You will ask Kirby. One son is like having bowl soup with one noodle. In Poland, men have ten, fifteen sons. Why'd you leave Poland, Janowski? Who? Zah want to put me in the army. <laughs> Some simple detail. Just gonna hand a piece of paper to the commissioner. But what I'd like to know is. Where is he? Lieutenant says we're going to meet Kirby in a couple of hours. Nah, that lieutenant. Wouldn't he just love to ride into Grey Cloud's camp and deliver that treaty himself? Oh, I used to have a girl named Nancy who did things very fancy. But I gave her the air because she didn't compare with my new girl, Bonnie O. I used to have a girl named Nancy. That's war paint on that Indian. I know it when I see it. Ah. Are you sure you didn't find any whiskey back at the trading post? No, and I didn't look for any either. War paint. If I was sergeant... Wish you ain't no more. Back at the fort, I can take a detachment on from here. Raslick. There's a week's ride ahead of us if we don't find Kirby. 
I hope you're right about that water. The spring be on the next hill. Tomorrow there will be water. Dazzling. That's war paint, isn't it? Yes. What's it for? It speaks of the warriors I have killed. Those who violated the hunting grounds of my people. What do you paint up for war now? There's no fighting. Do you not wear war clothes? Wondering what all this is for? Gun? <laughs> it's like a telescope. I look through there so I can draw the map. Next time we go through this country, we won't need a guide. Take cover! Help me, I shoot me! Ah, that stupid hood yak! Brady, give him a hand, we could use it! What's that for? For those who attack us. It was nothing. Paulson! We hit it! We hit it, Rich! Look, cold. Thick as your finger. Keep your mouth shut. What is it? Fool's gold. Not worth a nickel. Let's <laughs> go, Sergeant. You heard him! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Perkins, this is very special. In Poland, when baby comes, man roast goat have big feet. <laughs> this is not goat, but just as good. And what's that stuff? Pepper. <laughs> Enough pepper. Everything tastes like goat. Oh, oh hold it. So Take it easy, Janowski. Yeah, but Sergeant, this makes the meat taste good. That also make you thirsty, too. <laughs> She says, I didn't hear nothing, but I did. Sure as shooting, there was her old man. <laughs> Stop your life! You hear me? It's Bonnie alone. Ah, oh, take it easy, Corporal. He wasn't talking about Bonnie. And what if I was? She wouldn't have anything to do with you. We're going to be married when I get out next year. Well, now, my term ain't up for two years. You wouldn't want to cut my pleasure short, would you? to beat your brains out. All right, what is it? Just having a little saber practice, sir. Well, save it for the parade square. Stock your arms. Yes, sir. Real celebration, eh, Chanovsky? Yeah, Lieutenant. I fix meat to taste like oh gold. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, thought I'd be having dinner with my wife tonight, sir. She's waiting for you, isn't she? She'll be there when you get back. Well, when will we be getting back, sir? When we know Gray Cloud is going to have the treaty in time. You want those Indians climbing the walls back there? No. Then do your job. Hamilton, let me straighten you out on something. You know, there's only two mistakes a man can make with a woman. Asking her too soon and having her say yes. Or asking her too late and having her say no. Now it's the smart laddie who knows how to pick his spot and slide right in between. So, take your time, huh? I guess it was my fault, Lieutenant. 
I shouldn't have stacked the supplies here. We'll get water tomorrow. Half ration till we make the spring, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Well, let's have a hand here, Two days' ride. Well, we're all gonna be a little thirsty. Spring's dried up. Report to Sergeant Clark what's left in your canteens. Don't drink any more than you need. I'm so thirsty I could drink. Sharnovsky, you dumb hunyak. I'm Paul, not hunyak. You and your pepper. Send flea. Uh, if we was to hit a spring running beer, you'd kick because there were no pretzels. <laughs> I want the water cask up front with us. What? Give me a match. Keep this news to yourself. There's enough left to get us back to the post, sir. Sergeant, if I had my choice, I'd be 2,000 miles away from here. A week left to get the treaty to Grey Cloud. Kirby's still out there somewhere. There must be water ahead. I'm thinking of the men, Lieutenant. I vote for going back. That is, if I get a vote. You don't. You follow the Indian. Yes, sir.
packing equipment, sir. Haven't you learned how to pack yet, Corporal? Keep it moving. I don't know, sir. Checked everything this morning. What about your maps? Well, they're gone, sir. Lieutenant. These straps didn't break. Looks like a knife cut. No choice now, Sergeant. Taslik's our only way to Grey Cloud. Without water, he's as dead as we are. So, figure the straps just broke. What? But the... watch him from now on. Watch him good. Corporal, you want Bonnie so bad, I'll make a deal with you. Give me some of that water, and I won't trouble with it no more. That Taslik better know where water is. I know where it isn't. I tightened the lashing in the water cask this morning. It's almost empty. We sure haven't been getting any of it. Well, at times I wanted a drink. Whiskey! On the level! Richard Harper. Well, he headed up Kirby's party. Probably ran out of water. I don't think so. The others wouldn't be strong enough to bury them. Doslick. How long ago do you think this happened? Three weeks. Maybe Kirby didn't get to Grey Cloud either. Might as well get used to the idea now. We're headed for Great Cloud's village all the way. If that doesn't sit too well, some of you have families back at the fort. All of you have friends. If Great Cloud doesn't get his treaty in six days, Lord help them. From here on in, we'll lighten the load. Get rid of all your excess equipment. All right, keep your carbines, blankets, and canteens. All the rest goes. Now keep their sabers, Sergeant. They're still cavalrymen. Yes, sir. Tin soldier can feel his captain's bars already. Hey, somebody see my concertina? Ah, uh, you and your squeeze box. But I lose it. Good, it'll run on the trail like the rest of us. Who you son? Ha, ha. Horses! 
What about it, Taslik? My horse is also gone. First the water cask. Then the dry spring. Then the straps breaking. Now the horses. War paint. <laughs> I won't miss. He tries to kill us. Now you. Why? Why did you do it? You've got three seconds to talk before I give you back to them. Grey Cloud will never take your treaty of lies. It gives him everything he asked for. He will never see the white man's paper of lies. What more does he want? My people can save themselves only if they band together to fight the white man. My father believes in the honor of the white man. But I know when you do not need him, you will break the treaty. And when we cry for food, you will tell us to eat grass. I am the son of Grey Cloud, but I will keep the white man out. Like Kirby? Yes. I'm taking the treaty through with or without you. You can die here or come along and show us water. Are you crazy? Can you show us water, Sergeant? Depend on him and none of us will get out of here alive. I'm still handling this detail. What will it be? Death or water? leaking for days. And thank him. Sergeant. What did you want? One man alive or two dead from thirst? All right, let's keep moving. Once I read a lot of books about humanity. We get back, we'll write a new one.
Let us in a circle. All of you. Dead soon. Maybe you can find water as easy as you found that trigger. Well, follow this direction. It ain't gonna last much longer. None of the rest of us either. My blood is turning to sand. It'll all be dry. Must be water somewhere. Sergeant. Sergeant. Take a look. Right there, see? Smoke! Great cloud, what else could it be? It's not so far. Just a good walk. Thank you, sir. We'll never get there. Not all of us. Not like this. He's right, Lieutenant. One man, then. Enough water to travel fast? Bring help. I'd better get started. Thanks. But I want you with me, Sergeant. Well, who's it gonna be? I'm in pretty good shape, sir. I got enough, sir. Then leave. That's everything. an order. If you don't make it, none of us. That's right. Uh, but I got it won't make any difference anyway. Give this tree to Grey Cloud. Tell him us what he wanted. Yes, sir. How oh, fell long? We'll follow as soon as it's cooler. Good luck, Sergeant. Good luck, Clancy. So long, Clancy.
Hold it. Don't get yourselves bloated. Parker! Hold it. Parker! Let me drink! Use your head. The water may be bad. Huh? Lieutenant. More of Kirby's party. No other patrol ever came into this country. Well, it could have died of anything. If there's poison, why aren't there more skeletons? Could be the rest didn't drink. They're just playing it safe. Maybe the water's good after all. We'll soon know. Brady. Yes, sir. Take a look over there. See if you can find any bullets, arrows, anything. Yes, sir. I ain't dying of thirst. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. What's the matter with all of you? No water's all right. Brackish, maybe. Sure. Lieutenant! No arrows, no nothing! Shut up! There's nothing wrong. It's cool, I tell you. Poison. Don't drink. Clancy will be back tomorrow. The Indians know how to cure these things. Don't they, Lieutenant? Tomorrow everything will be fine. <laughs> I want, want to tell you how when we took the treaty. <laughs> it was only small. <laughs> Just a baby. <laughs> took the treaty to Great Cloud. <laughs> and it's seen you. <laughs> I always wanted to tell you.
What is it? Heard something. Oh, you're crazy. That's something. Over here. It's a girl. I'm not blind. Wait till Grady sees her. What's going on? <sighs> Looks like a bullet creased her. You understand English? Water. Ask her where's water. Indian women don't travel alone, Lieutenant. One thing at a time. You better try to stand up. We won't hurt you. She understands, all right. We need water. Let's keep moving. I'll take her with us. She's welcome to our water. Every last drop we haven't got. What's she doing out here, anyway? Hold it. Clancy, he's dead. No brave did that. Still has his scalp. fire before. Like a match. Closer. Closer. Burn her. She knows where the water is. Burn her eyes. Who are you? Juanima. Taslik's sister. Why did you kill him? Why does the white man carry lies to Grey Cloud? He's been with us since we left the trading post. The landslide, the horses. Grey Cloud wants that treaty bad. And they wouldn't have tried to stop us. We ought to kill you. Why not? She killed Clancy. A treaty's due in three days. If you don't make it in time, He's living proof we want peace. Ah! 
I'm sorry. has to have water. Now get it out of her. She'll pray to tell you what water is. And soon we all go like Hamilton. He can't go on, Lieutenant. We only have two more days. I'm sorry. Catch up. dead. Where's Billings? Hamilton didn't have to die. Nobody had to die. Only the Indian. Faslik died like he fought us, like a coyote. I speak of my people, not my brother. Who waits for us? We offer you peace here in this paper. Peace. With war in your heart. Why do you say that? Listen to me, soldier. I know this peace you speak of. Once my people were great conquerors. When I was a girl, I heard the war you speak of bravery and glory. Battle bravery and death glory. And when they made peace, it was their peace. And their hearts was always war. This peace is of your father's making. His wishes are on the paper. You. You have a woman. And she believes all that you believe? No. Then you must hate her as you hate me. She's a woman. Not a murderess. She's killed no one. Then ask her for water. I fight because I am a woman. Without pity. I learned of pity at your white man's school. And of the soldiers. I will never cleanse myself of them. You will never see your woman again. I'll do what I came to do. I'll make the peace. Yes. Your great white father writes on his paper and says, this is my word. I have sent my soldiers with the paper. Sign. It is as you wish. But it is not the word of his people. And soon the other whites will come and spit on the paper when our people are weak. When your rifles are many and our babies go without milk. 
Soon we will be pushed into a corner and our bones will whiten the grass and we will be nothing. No water. Only yellow iron. Cold? Ah, they wouldn't let any laying around. Could you drink it if they did? Take a look. Make sure there's no water. Mine. Let's take out water from somewhere. We'll take a look over there. Allison. Just once before I die, I want to be rich. She wouldn't bring us here if there was water. Nothing here. What's a mine doing in this country? The Spanish came many years ago. My people killed them. Why? Because the white man's madness brings death. glass of water, I would pay all this gold. Gold? Where? Gold? Just look at it! That ain't no fool's gold. A big moon. <laughs> You'll get your wish, Grady. You'll die rich. Die now. Oh no, not now I ain't. I told you I wanted her alive. You all gone crazy. We gotta have water if that's crazy. There ain't nobody stopping her from telling us where it is. 
I said we'd bring her to Grey Cloud to show we wanted peace. Put up your gun. I know how hard it's been, but leave the girl alone. You only want to live, Lieutenant. Take her, Grady. No, I will take you to water. He would die alone for a piece of paper. I know it will not bring what he wants. But I will not see him die. You are still the chief. Tell them to follow where I lead. All right. This is over and done with. As soon as Clark's back, we're moving out. Said it was done with, Allison. Thanks, Lieutenant. What do you think your lives are worth back at the port? Mutiny, insubordination, attacking an officer. But the Lieutenant says he not make charges, Dalton. Now, what else could he say? Well, I didn't shoot him. No, you can tell the court-martial you just held a gun on him. Now, what about this? There's a whole mine full of gold waiting back there. Well, with a war like this, each one of us could carry out a fortune. Yeah. The billing's out of the way. What do you say? We can be rich and be heroes, too. Deliver the treaty and tell our own story back at the fort. Sure, why not? No, you're wrong, Lieutenant. Good man. Shut up. Lieutenant. <laughs> Come on, let's go get the rest of them. No. They let her sleep. Get rid of him. I think I'll turn in, sir. Tomorrow, Grey Cloud. Tomorrow. Good night, sir. Good night, sir. You showed us water. But you still don't believe we'll help your people. All are not like you. I don't know. I don't know what I'm like. Somebody who knew me well said I was all soldier, all job. She hated that. Your woman? Yes. She is at the fort. Is that why you were afraid of war? No, she's far away. One day she said she was sick to death of the killings. All the killings on both sides. She said I'd be killed too. Went away. And you? I was angry. I didn't understand. I understand now. When I get back, I think we can work things out. Then she will be happy. How will you feel when Great Cloud gets his treaty? 
I will go with you to the village. But our thoughts are as different as earth and water. Well, you better get some sleep. Hey, Grady. Yeah. Grady, it's your guard. Oh, well, yeah. Well, everything all right? Yeah, you must be awful tired. Just let me sleep. Huh? Huh? I told you the grab is gone. How could I? Come on. Allison! Tolson! Grady! My people do not attack at night. It's ours, all right. They must have got Allison. Over here. for enlisted men only. Go on up. I'll cover them from here.
all right. Take her and go to Grey Cloud. Leave you alone? Only two of them left. Up here, I got the edge. Afraid not. Listen, mister. For that treaty of yours, I've almost died of thirst. Gone crazy with the heat. I've been plotted against, shot at, and I want it delivered. Uh, stop bleeding all over me and get going. See you at the village, Sergeant. Tell him to put the soup on. Wardrobes. 